this is the perfect kind of bank that that I look for when I'm you know thinking about you know spring of the year water's cold and throwing these flat side baits you know I mean you want a transition like this you can see right here to our right there's a lot of gravel and it transitions slowly into a steeper you know chunk rock you know actually ledge rock type bank and actually eventually turns right into a bluff there so you know in, in highland reservoirs like this always look for those transitions in the spring you know where two different types of rock come together and eventually as they get closer to the spawn pea gravel is going to be critical you know that's what the fish really like to pull up and spawn on and it doesn't matter whether you know you're targeting smallmouth largemouth or spotted bass that gravel's always always critical so look at the angle of the bank and then look at those rock transitions put a pattern together and you can run it all over the lake I caught one right there. There he is. God, he got it. I don't know what I got, but oh, looks like a nice one. Good keeper spot. You know, this is a perfect gravel transition right here. You know, I've, I'm right at the mouth of a big creek, and um, you know, there's a the river comes right out here, and it just breaks from rock to to uh, to gravel here. And you know, I'm trying to parallel this bank. That's the big thing with this bait right here. When the water's cold like this, especially. Put the odds in your favor. Put put your boat, you know, right out there in like 12 foot of water and throw, you know, throw up into four and pull it right along so it's coming down that hole, uh, you know, right down that zone where the fish should be hanging the whole cast. You want to keep it in the strike zone as long as possible. And, you know, I'm going to really uh, experiment with the speed of my retrieve. You know, if the water's super cold, definitely slow it down. As the water warms up, especially as it gets around 50, a lot of times they, they bite this bait better if you're burning a little bit faster. So, you know, experiment with your, you know, that retrieve a little bit and, um, you know, stop and start it a little bit. If I hit something really good down there, I want to stop that bait. You know, this bait is built to almost suspend, you know, it floats up real slow and, you know, in real cold water, that's one of the things I'll do is add a little weight to it and actually make it suspend. So when you do, you know, reel it down and, and hit that perfect rock on the end of the point, you can stop it and even just twitch it a little bit like a jerk bait. It's deadly effective when the water's cold like that. But, you know, keeping this bait in the strike zone is really, really critical. You know, if you've got tough conditions, you got to keep your lure right where you think the bass is at for the most uh, time. So, you know, cast right where, you know, right where it's at, keep it in the zone and uh, keep covering that water and you'll find them sooner or later. You know, when I'm throwing this KVD 1.5 flat, I, you know, I like to throw it on just a seven foot. I'm throwing it on a medium action, my own signature KVD, um, you know, tour series crankbait rod. It's a composite rod, so it's got a nice soft action. You really want to use a glass rod because it allows those fish to get the bait. Throwing it on a, you know, five, three to one gear ratio reel, you know, the water's cold. You don't want to overfish the bait. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to run about 10 foot deep on 10 pound line. So you know, I like lighter line with this. I want this bait to get down. It's got a fairly tight wiggle, has no rattles to it. It's a perfect bait, you know, when you got tough conditions. When I like to pull this out is, you know, if there's a lot of fishing pressure, you know, after fronts, things like that. And when the water's cold like this, these flat sided baits are just dynamite when the fish is tough. There he is. Feels like a good one. Right on this little shale, slab rock point. <laughs> Fat spot. These baits really catch fish. I mean, there's just, when you fish it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It has a great feel to it. You know, we designed it so, it, you know, it's only going to run that 10 foot deep. So it's perfect for that shallower zone where these fish are at in the spring of the year. It's also a great fall bait, you know. Again, no rattle. This is one of my favorite colors. You know, the water right now is uh, slightly stained. You know, I can see down about four feet. 
but uh, you know this this right here is summer sexy shad it's you know it's it's kind of that not bright white and that's what I really think about with colors with this in the spring crawdad patterns um, shad patterns and things like that if the water's dirty don't be afraid to throw these baits in the dirtiest water these flat sides kick off a lot of pressure waves and those fish will find them even when it's cold like that you know you can throw a red or throw chartreuse something like that that's really visible in that dirty water slow it down a little bit they're deadly deadly baits you know anytime you have that so and actually I do prefer a little bit of color in the water if it's gin clear you know, those natural translucent colors, you know, ghost minnow, things like that, go sexy shad, that, that's the perfect colors uh, for those scenarios. But this bait just really catches a lot of fish when conditions are tough. You definitely got to try it. I don't know what I got, but I got one. Nice one, large mouth. That right there is why you gotta stay wired to fish. <laughs> Check us out at wiredtofish.com.